Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One and my old barn door. And um, I have a five ring binder garden journal to share with y'all. Um, and I am gonna be listing this on my Etsy shop. I was initially gonna keep this book and use it to um, do it as my garden journal. But honestly, I have three, four journals going right now. So I just decided I have too many journals going right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in my Etsy stop, store um, so that someone can get it and use it and it doesn't sit on somebody's shelf forever. So we'll just go on in. Now, this one is very vintage. Okay. It's got the yellowing, which I think adds to the charm. That's why I was going to keep it. Um, Look how yellow this vine is. I love it like this. Um, and I love the graphics on these books. It's just such pretty um, pictures on here. So, it's a big one. Um, so, we'll just go on in and flip through. Alright. And it's got this little plastic thing in here. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know how good my lighting is. But anyway, this little plastic thing, you can take it out if you want to. It's a little dusty. I did clean this book. I wiped it. I actually scrubbed this book with bleach. So, um, not pure bleach, but y'all know what I mean. I washed, you know, I diluted it. Whatever. <laughs> so anyway, I put a little front pocket on the front um, because, you know, I don't know if you can see. Well, I'll show you when we get there, but... It's got some, you know, some staining and things like that, but I think that adds to the charm. Inside your front pocket, I put you a whole bunch of papers that I use throughout the book. So, and I think they're all double-sided except for this one. This one's just cream on the back, but it's really pretty. So... You have some extra papers in there to play with in your book. This is a little envelope that I just thought was so pretty. And then I just put a little children's playing card in there. This is from that Joyce Meyer book that I have, just encouraging quotes. And then this is just a little um, lines notebook paper. And this came from my friend Selena over at Amour Fabrics. And then I have my little journaling flower cards, which I love, love, love these. And I have a whole bunch of these. I'm thinking about putting some in my Etsy shop. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll get some together and put them in there. This is just a little pocket that I made out of graph paper. And I have you a little tag. Um, and then a tag from some Anna Griffin paper, which is absolutely beautiful. And then this was originally in this book. When I bought this book, I found this in there. And it's not vintage, it's from 2009, but I still thought it was neat to add that back into the book since it was already in there. So, I incorporated that back in. Lots of pages have um, sewing on the side with either fabric or paper. Little tabs. Children's Dictionary page. And then this is the original cover of the book, the, the little plastic cover, and it's bent a little bit right here, um, but if you just keep working at it, I've been working at it some, because it was completely folded in. Copyright date on this one is 1968, so I did include some of the original pages back into the book, and as you can see, you know, you have the watermarks and things, the staining, which again, to me, I love. It adds to the book to me. This is um, from a child craft book, and I just thought it was the sweetest little story uh, with this little boy laying there watching the ducks with the willow tree in the background, and then I punched a little heart out. So um, this is one of those that I made a thicker page, so I put two together, glued in the middle, sewed around the edges, and added a little page tab. So that's the back side of that. Here's like, um, kind of like ledger paper. It's from a paper pad. This is a little pocket that I made from one of my floral books. And then inside, I put just a little um, 
fold out for journaling and then like a little notepad and it's got just a few sheets together with a little bit of fabric on the top. This came from Selena at Amore Fabrics. This is a page from my Helen Steiner Rice Books with some fabric sewn at the top. I used several of the um, tab pages in the book, even though, you know, they're a little rough looking too, but again, adds to the charm. And then some original pages from the book, including the index. I thought it'd be cool to include parts of the index. So here is several of the original pages. This is actually, it was the front cover of my Helen Steiner Rice book, and I just love the color to go in this book. So I punched, I did some edge punching and added that in. This is a little tag, and then I just sewed a little, um, little piece of trim on top, and it's got a scripture on it. This is a little pocket. It's on the one of the Helen Steiner Rice pages, but it was like the introduction page, so I just covered up the introduction part. And then I just made you another little notebook of, of notes and stuff down in that little pocket. Tied it together with some eyelash trim. I'm going to try and go a little faster because I love this page. But this is a big book, so it's going to take us a minute. This, I just did like a little flip on here, and this is just an encouraging quote. It's on music paper, and it is a pocket. So inside this pocket, I put a whole bunch of little strips of papers and stuff that I use throughout the book. So you can use, kind of my idea is to be able to take the book on the go and just grab it and go so that you can journal um, on the go. So I tried to put extra stuff. These are from a children's book. Y'all know me, I like to add children's book pages and recipe page. And I love this one because it's from close to where I live. Not, you know, not where I live or used to live, but where I grew up. This is one of my little math book pages. Um, and I love how they did the figuring on the bottom. I don't understand any of it because I stink at math, but got some pretty little fabric on the side there. But I think it's cool. Some more of the original pages from the book. And you can take these pages and cut them apart. You can glue them together and make them thicker so that you can do mixed media or however. This is from uh, one of my book house books. Um, I have like a whole series of them. So um, I love, love, love the images in these books. And I love this. And then this is that little frog book <laughs> that I just think is so stinking cute. So I added a few of those pages in here too. This is one of my um, my botanical cards. This is a fabric collage flip. So it's just got a little piece there and then a piece of lace there. And then it flips up to journal behind. This is just actually the, um, the little divider pages that come in um, a spiral notebook. Got a little pocket here and um, a little tag. And I made and just put some trim on the top. This came from Selena's shop. And then I just added a few little extra sheets of different color papers so that you can have those to journal on as well. Love the polka dots. And then this came from like um, a school weekly reader. It's kind of like a Dick and Jane book, but it's not the Dick and Jane book. But I still love it. It's from like the 50s. Love, love, love these pages. Isn't that pretty with all those butterflies? Love that. This is also from, uh, uh, this is like, I think this is the front of um, a Reader's Digest book. But I love how yellowed the pages are around it. So I added that in. Some lined paper, children's book page, more um, tab, and then more original pages from the book. I'm losing my voice now, guys. Aren't those pretty? Love these pages. I love this too with the um, the music uh, with our you know national music. This I just added a little pocket. Actually, what this was, it was my pharmacy bag. So I just added the paper on top of it. It can be a pocket here. 
but I don't have anything in there. And then on the top here, I just put you some some big paper from a big, big scrapbook. Let me see if I can, I'll show you what I'm talking about because it's not something that you really see anymore um, because we use totally different scrapbooks nowadays than what we used to use. Well, you see how big this book is? <laughs> I mean, it's huge. You know, it's got the little tile on the side. Um, I made one of these for my boyfriend when I was in high school. <laughs> that tells you how old it is. But this is the paper that comes in it. So, I just took some of that out. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And used it in the book. No, actually, you know what? That's not what that paper is. I take it all back. I'm not trying to lie to y'all. <laughs> But I really just thought that that was what it was. But actually, it's from this. It's from this newsprint pad that I that I got at, um, I think, the Habitat for Humanity. So anyways, that's what that is. And then some of my floral book pages. Love that. Isn't that beautiful? Some more Joris Meyer. This is from my fairy book pages. And I just punched a little heart there. These are really cool. I love the mushrooms. And then this is um, the flap of an envelope that I have on this side um, in the style of Tracy Fox and Gail Gustinelli. And this comes from my friend Dawn. Um, actually, I think both of these did. Another one of my floral cards. I don't think I put anything in this envelope. I didn't. So the envelope's empty for you to add what you will in there another tab page some more original pages from the book love 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 the yellow trees and this one oh what the heck I like all the trees <laughs> they're just so pretty these pages are gorgeous this is actually the front cover from a guidepost book and then I just put a little tag here with a little fabric clip here and some lace. Helen Steiner Rice page. This is a pocket from um, sewing powder paper and it's just got a little scripture in there for you. Some more of that children's book page. And these, really the purpose I put these in here for was for you to be able to glue them together or cut them apart and use them throughout the book. You know, but if you glue them together then you can do mixed media on them. Some graph paper and this one flips out this is from a little um, book that had um, friendship poems in it so I just punched the edge and added um, I think this was actually the last page that I had of that book so I added it in here another page tab or tab page or whatever you want to call it so you can see staining and but I love that. I love how old and it, it makes the book look. This is a pocket that I made out of matte page and it just has a tag with a scripture. And then it has this beautiful hummingbird page that I got from Selena over at Amour Fabriques. So I wanted to add that in there. Some more of that frog book. Love it. And there's actually two or three of these. Each spot that you see these lined pages, there's two or three of them. I just didn't pull each one apart. And there's a fabric flip. Recipe page. Some more of my little flower cards. This is a scripture. And then this is on music paper and it flips out. Some more of the original book. fabric pocket and it's just got a scripture and a tag in there. I love, love, love this fabric. As a matter of fact, this fabric came from Selena too at Amore Fabrics. It almost feels like that feed sack fabric. It may be, I'm not sure, but it's beautiful. Love this. And so, I don't know if you can tell, but on some of the corners of the pages I punched them. I hope you guys can see this okay. 
children's book page. This is from like a children's workbook, um, like a school workbook, but I love the colors in it. And these are more of the original pages from the book. Sorry about the lighting. It's real cloudy here today. It's been raining for days. You would think that that would help my allergy situation, but it hasn't so far. This one, I just put a little sticker strip on the edge just to give it a little decoration. Graph paper, I made a little pocket out of it. And then you have a little encouraging quote, a couple of sheets of um, line paper for journaling, and then a scripture in there as well. I love this book. I wish that I had time to journal in this book. But I had to get real honest with myself because my craft room is not very big. It's a small craft room, which I'm good with. I like a small craft room. Um, but I tend to not be able to keep all of the things that I want to keep sometimes. This is a pocket out of one of those workbook pages. And then I have added in some really pretty lined stationery. I love this stationery. I found it at TJ Maxx a long time ago and um, I've kind of hoarded it because <laughs> it's so pretty. So I figured it's time to use it. Little notebook paper. This is a piece of stationery that I think I found at the Habitat for Humanity. And these are a couple of recipe pages. Cream cheese coffee cake. That sounds good. And then, of course, I added a few of these little notepad sheets as well. Just stapled them at the top of this little tab page. Love this picture. This is probably one of my favorite pictures in this book. And I love these. I don't know why, but my eyes just drawn to these. And then some more of that um, book house um, children's book pages. And this is Childcraft, and I love this. I think that's so pretty. And some more lined paper. This book is really, really full, guys. Love that picture. There's lots of stuff in this book. More lined paper, craft paper. This too was originally in the book. Um, I found it in the book, and I, I'm like Kristen over at Rock Paper Treasures. I love finding things in, tucked into books. So, again, they're not vintage, they're not really, really old. Let me see. I, yeah, November 1993. But they look really vintage, they're very yellow. So, I thought I would include those back in just because I feel like they need to stay with the book. Recipe, and then this is a little um, pocket, and I just put a little scripture and um, a pretty little journaling card in there as well. Here is uh, one of my shaker cards. Love that. And then it's got um, an encouraging quote in there. Look at that paper. Isn't that pretty paper? Sorry, the sun's glaring. Isn't that pretty? So, I just added a little scripture down in there. You can put a picture or a journal card or whatever you want to put in this little pocket. But I think they're super cute. And then this is one of my favorite mix of pages in this book, I think. I love, love, love these two pages together. And so I just took one of my edge punches and punched the little punches on the side there. And then you have one last page from the original book. And then here's the back of the book. I did leave this because I just really like this. Um, you can put a pocket on it if you want to. But as you can see, and I did scrub this, guys. I scrubbed this book. But it's just got, you know, it's just got wear and tear. So anyways, that is my newest um, five ring binder garden journal. So, it will be listed in my Etsy shop with all the specifications. And so, you guys go on over and check it out. Um, again, I'll make the Etsy listing. And then um, I will upload the video. And I'll try to 
have them both ready at the same time. So once you see this video, you should be able to go check this out in my Etsy shop. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Leave likes, leave comments, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and you guys have an awesome, awesome day.